Well, I'm excited. You're in for one of our earlier, in fact, premier sessions on the grassroots entrepreneurs in med tech who can't get the coverage, but deserve the coverage. Thank you. And uh, you and I were chatting about your application on sleep apnea. And uh, I thought it'd be fun if you could share with our audience what your solution is providing to the marketplace and how it's replacing the current standard of care. Sure. So the current standard of care is PAP, positive airway pressure, and it is the gold standard. Uh, none of the other solutions that are available work as well as PAP. But the problem is more than 50% of the population fails to use it long term. Uh, there are many reasons for this, but the leading causes are claustrophobia when trying to fall asleep with a mask on, semi-conscious removal where you rip it off in the middle of the night, and many patients complain of that, um, or leaks. So we're taking an out-of-the-box approach using a robot. And the big idea is that we can allow the patient to fall asleep normally without anything on their face, no masks, no straps, no hoses. And after they fall asleep, the robot automatically places and holds the mask at the correct location. So what are you figuring on economics? In terms of costs? As, in, in terms of investment to get it to a clear device for this application. Sure. So our initial plan, I, I have a great medical advisory board, which you may have seen from the deck that I sent you, but they're very eager to get a system into their labs just to validate the idea of robotically placed masks. So right now I'm trying to raise a $5 million round just to develop a system for initial clinical use. Um, and we're gonna deploy that at our luminary sites. After th that initial round of clinical data and we expect it to be successful, then we're gonna be well positioned to raise a subsequent round, let's say a B round, for example. And that I would say would be about $20 million so we could develop our, our first real low cost system that's suitable for getting clearance by the FDA. Okay, so here you can see in the prototype application, we have the stereo vision camera. Uh, the camera is able to identify the facial features. So if, if Joe, if you can just grab the head and just move the head a little bit, uh, you can kind of see that it's able to track it um, in real time. Yep. And then once I enable the system to, to go and place the mask, you'll see it starts uh, adjusting and aligning. So I'm asleep right now. I've fallen asleep. Exactly. There's no mask on me. Exactly. Now, and that's an issue with some people because they can't quite fall into that zone. Exactly. Right. Then now this will go ahead, facial recognition, come into place while I'm sleeping. Exactly. And then we'll go ahead and apply the mask. And hold it and on your face. Exactly. Right. And then the idea is that, you know, if you shift and the system detects that you've shift and let's say you've rolled onto the side. And again, these are typical four sensors that would readjust the mask. I know we're working on a super prototype right now. Yeah. And then we'll come down, evaluate, and then find its way and put the mask back on. Exactly. Now, <clears throat> I'm a flipper in bed. Yeah. Right? I flip, flip, flip. What's the differential in the therapeutic treatment of the PAP of it coming away and I flip and it coming back on? It's a minimal. No, no disruption. Value. And we've discussed this point a lot with our medical advisory team. Mm -hmm. I mean, the requirements for therapy in order to get coverage for insurance, it's a minimum of four hours of usage per night for 70% of the nights per month. So as long as you get the therapy for a minimum of four hours, it's fine. So if you have intermittent disconnects where you need to shift, not a problem at all, as long as long-term you meet the requirements. Hmm. So I shift again? Yeah, so if you shift again, it backs right. away. Backs away. And my guess is, as we get better and better at this with algorithms and development, the process will shorten. Exactly. Yeah, this is super cool. Thank you. Well, listen, um, thank you so much for sharing the concept with us. Sure. Uh, I, I totally believe there's a market for this. If somebody wants to reach out to you, what's the best way for them to reach out to you? Uh, they can go to restforobotics.com and there's an email address, info at restforobotics.com. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming in today. Sure, thank you very much. Appreciate it.